Dolls Frontline Episode 10. Final three episodes na. Kinuntinyo na natin from the last one. Dreamer was just joking. <laughs> but anyway, sinabi na lang niya kay Destroyer na, mula ngayon, sumunod ka na point for point sa akin. AR team is in hot pursuit of Destroyer. We all know that. Then, ginawan, ginagawa niyang bait ngayon si Destroyer para ma-lead into uh, into their own artillery artillery range ang AR team. Nakalata ka agad ni, ni, ni Genshan kung ano ang plano ng kalaban sa uh, on their prize possessions. Dreamer plans to destroy AR team with the same artillery she tried to destroy the base with. Ayun na. So, pino, nagpaulan na. Sinabi ni Kryuger na lahat ng dolls suportahan ng AR team habang tumataas sila. Diba kasi, nagpaulan na si Genshan. She told AR team to get the hell out of there. And, well, her exact words were, don't stop for anything. Rightfully so. AR team was successful in escaping. But unfortunately, most of their comrades got hit by this artillery fire. Nakalata pala ni Dreamer that um, AR team is not the only, they're not the only ones um, seeking out Destroyer. It was also AR-15 on her own. So, naispatan siya ng isang drone ni Dreamer. So, yun, nag-angasan yung dalawa. Well, AR-15 just said, Get ready, Sangvis scum. So, one week later, um, the other dolls were trying to recuperate. Siyempre, ginagawa eh. Nung mins- minsan kasi nagtaka si, si Genshan kung bakit kung bakit uh, Kryuger named all these dolls after guns. Now she knows why. Uh, while well, this was going on, yun pala, may bago mission orders ang AR team. To survey uh, the territory they they were uh, they they went through the previous week. Ayun nga, yung when, when they had that artillery fire, they came up with this um this gr- this group of uh, androids or so they seem inassume nila na uh, mga baldido ito. But well, nagpakis- nagpakilala sila. It was it's Kruger's party. It's led by Kruger himself. Eh binigyan na sila ng bagong orders ni Kru- ni Kruger. So Batayin niya yung Batayin niya ano yung supply party. Eh they got no choice but to follow orders. Kasi eh ito yung kumpara ito yung supreme com- ito yung supreme commander nila eh. Nagkaroon ng discussion between Sop Sop 2 M16 at si M4A1. Hinala ni Sop 2, they've um, Kruger, Kruger has given up the search given up on the search for AR-15. Eh, sinabi naman ni M4A1, mukhang hindi pa. So, what? Pe, medyo in between si M16 dito. Kinonfirm ni Kruger mismo ito that uh, in a later scene that he hasn't given up on on the search for AR-15 kasi for him, she is the key to to solving the parapluwi riddle. Kasi nga, she's infected with this virus. And, if other dolls have this, nako, lagot tayo. Yun ang point of view ni Kruger. Final scene. Well, we just saw AR-15 wandering, wandering in, in the hot desert heat, reaffirming her primary function, which is to, uh, to protect humanity and to um, to never betray the first uh, the first set of dolls that took her in. Yun nga, AR-15, si ang AR team, which is led, of course, by M4E1. Mga kalay style, we're going to break that episode down now. Critics of style. Pace! Tenso pacing? Kasi, um, umpisa pa lang, AR team has had to deal with two high-end models. Si Dreamer, uh, si Destroyer at ang kanyang commander dito na si Dreamer. Eh, tuso pala ang punyetang, ang punyetang high-end model na to. This was how tense the pacing was. Flow naman. Um, 
first gear shift here was nung na-realize ni Genchan kung ano talaga ang plano ni Dreamer. No brainer of a gear shift, folks, because this was probably the gear shift that triggered the episode. Again, no brainer of a gear shift, folks. Dito talaga na-confirm na yung yung talagang value ng ng apat na doso to. Not just the, the three remaining members of AR team, but also AR-15. Final gear shift was yun nga. Again, kinonfirm mismo ni Kruger kung ano ang value ng mga ng AR team especially si AR15 right now again no brainer of a gear shift the supreme commander of Griffin himself declared na very valuable ang AR team at lalo na na si AR15 right now because sa kanya inimplanta ng Sangvis ang well their right now their secret weapon yung para fluy virus. So, these three gear shifts that I saw, all of them will play a role in the final two episodes. Yun ang nafe-feel ko dito. Plot wise, <clears throat> malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Kasi, hindi nyo na kailangan na side story or back story. It, at this late uh, this late in the anime's run final three episodes ne. unless you got a backstory as valid as the one shown in Tokyo 24th Ward yun parang ganun parang ganun yung dating dapat ng backstory pero wala eh nothing's left to be said anymore just the main continuity of the anime na lang let's concentrate on that and of course AR-15 going rogue. She's considered rogue kasi tumakas siya. And uh, whether, whether the rest of AR team likes it or not, yeah, may shoot, technically, may shoot to kill order si AR, kay AR-15. And they really need to follow that. It may be against their will, pero orders are orders. And I'm very sure AR-15 understands this. That's how clean the plot this episode uh, this episode has, mga lifestyle. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this episode. So, Dolls Frontline Episode 10. Deserving pa rin. Two thumbs up! Talagang mainit na story kasi AR-15's infection of uh, getting getting infected with this virus by Sangvis, talagang talagang ito nagpakomplika sa storyline because uh, one of the lead characters is now uh, is now being treated as a broken arrow. Yeah, you remember the film Broken Arrow by na uh, yung sa ni na uh, nagbida si George Travolta don? Yeah, it works the same way pero hindi intentional ito. Itong sa Dos Frontline. Um, she well hindi naman ginusto ni AR-15 to eh she was she was chosen by Sangvis as the target of this virus kasi madalas siyang mag-infiltrate ng computer systems ng Sangvis uh, well he, she is a deep she is a deep penetration agent ito ang talagang fun ito ang function niya eh. isa sa mga functions niya so It'll be interesting kung uh, kung paano niya iriridin yung sarili niya rito. Without um, uh, without betraying her comrades, without betraying the entire uh, Griffin Ryuger organization. And well, she just declared war on Dreamer. And mukhang merong mukhang meron na naman siyang itutumbang high-end model. The first was actually Hunter. So, it would be a treat for us watching the anime if AR-15 takes, uh, takes Dreamer out herself. Yun nga lang. Wala na matitira kay Sok. Wala na matitira kay Sok 2. <laughs> si Sok 2, wala pang, wala pang tinutubang high-end model eh. <laughs> si, si M16, meron na. Si, um, I already forgot her name. Si, 
Ah, basta, lahat sila, meron na silang tinumbang high-end model on their own. Except si Sop 2. So, but it will be a real treat kung uh, if, AR, if AR-15 makes it 2-0 against the, against the high-end models. So, yeah. The high-end model body count may grow may may uh, may, may grow higher. All right? Because because of because of AR15's um quest for yeah, you can say quest for vengeance. So, yeah. We 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 we'll definitely see that in the final two episodes. I can feel that. So again, Dolls Frontline episode 10. Two thumbs up. And after two thumbs up for Frontline, mga ka-lifestyle. Wow, grabe. Grabe ang complication talaga sa storyline yung pagkaka-infect kay AR-15. So, Patreon, wait for my next uh, upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, pa magagawa nyo, hindi chill-chill lang muna. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.